Hello everybody, welcome to game five in the Washington Nationals season replay 2019 style. Uh, before we get started in game five, I did want to clear up a mistake made in game four. It wasn't a huge mistake, but it was a mistake nonetheless, and I do want to get it corrected. And that was in the ninth inning, the Phillies were batting. And Cesar Hernandez flew to center. It was an F2. And I did not catch that Reese Hoskins was at third base, so it should have been a sacrifice fly. I originally scored it as just a fly to center and only gave Philadelphia one run when they actually got the second run there based on the sacrifice fly. So I did update my records, and the final score changed from 6-1 to one to 6-2. to two. And the left on base went down from 7-6 to six because obviously he was not left on base. So 6-2 to two your final, so I just wanted to make sure I got that in there. Uh, to let everybody know that was in fact corrected. One other bit of bookkeeping. Trey Turner is now on the disabled list as in real life he broke his finger trying to bunt in the previous game. So he's out until May the 17th. And so to take his place on the roster, the Nationals have called up Adrian Sanchez. He does not have a regular card. He only had 31 at bats. So I did print his computerized card. Um, so he would be getting some backup duties, uh, utility work, so forth, you know, as the situation arises. All right, so let's look at starting pitchers for today's game. It'll be the first start of the season for Anibal Sanchez. And let me make sure that I got the focus on Anibal. I think he's visible pretty good. Okay. Anibal Sanchez on the 2019 season, 11 and 8 with a 3.85 ERA and 30 starts. He'll making his first start of the season. Making his second start of the season is Aaron Nola of the Phillies. He didn't do so well in his first outing. He got thumped by the Braves. So he is 0 and 1 with a 10.80 ERA entering this game. All right, this game was played. It's a day game because this is getaway day. The, both teams are going to be hitting the road after this. In fact, the Phillies, I believe, I'm not sure where they're going, but it, uh, the Nationals are going to New York to take on the Mets. So this was a day game that started at 105. 62 degrees and sunny was the actual weather, so I'm counting that as good weather on the ballpark rolls. So singles are 1 to 18 for lefties, 1 to 15 for righties, and home runs are 14 for both. And after last night's game, the adjusted standings in the NL East. Washington leads three to three and one. Mets are half game back at three and two. Philly and Atlanta are one game back at two and two. And Miami is two games back at two and four. All right, so let's look at the starting lineups for today's game. For the Phillies, it's pretty much the same. I think it is exactly the same, except for the pitcher. McCutcheon, Segura, Harper, Hoskins, Riamuto, Herrera, Hernandez, Franco, and Nola. And for the Nationals, with the adjustments of not having Trey Turner, they've moved Brian Dozier up to number two spot. So we've got Eaton and Dozier, then Rendon, Soto, Zimmerman, Suzuki. Wilmer Defoe is the shortstop. He's going to be the everyday shortstop, at least for the near future, while Trey Turner is rehabbing his injured finger. And Ball Sanchez will bat eighth again, as Dave Martinez is doing the pitcher batting eighth thing. And Victor Robles is in center. And uh, now with Defoe in the lineup, Sanchez takes his place on the bench players that are available. And as you can see, the first start Nola had against the Braves, five, this is computer simming this, five innings pitch, nine hits, six runs, two walks, three strikeouts, and a 10.80 ERA, of course, 0-1. All right, so want to get those preliminaries out of the way and get some things cleaned up from the last time. Hopefully I will not make an error this time. It's never my goal to make an error, but if I do make an error, I want to make sure it's corrected and set the record straight going forward. All right, so looks like everything is in place the way it needs to be. Anibal Sanchez finishing up those warm-up tosses and leading things off will be Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. Let me just Focus one more time and make sure it's in there right. Okay, it looks like it is. I'm trying something different. I'm turning off the main light overhead and using a lamp light. Um, I know it kind of simulates a night game, but this is actually a day game in the replay. 
but I'm just testing it to see if the lighting works a little bit better. I do still have the defensive charts for both teams, so I have that right here with me, handy. Got the super advanced defensive charts right here handy as well. All right, so we will get going. Andrew McCutcheon leads things off against Anibal Sanchez, his first start of the season, as he was skipped over in the first couple of games due to off days. So here he is, Sanchez to McCutcheon. Game five, underway. Final game of the homestand, 311. 311 for McCutcheon. He grounds to second, and Dozier over to Zimmerman, one away. Just like that, we are off and running. Here's Gene Segura. 6-2. Ground ball to short, and Defoe, the new shortstop, makes the play. Two up and two down. Good start for Sanchez. That'll bring up Bryce Harper. 3-11, and that's a ballpark single check, and it's good weather, so it's 1-18. to It's almost a guaranteed single. And it is, so Bryce Harper, a two-out single. He's a beast dealer, so he will have to be held. He can get a jump with a six. On the season, he stole 15 bases, only caught three times. So they're going to see if he can get in the scoring position, see if he can get the jump. He needs a six to do so. And that's a five, but there's a two on the D20, and by rule, that is checking a balk rating. So we're going to re-roll for the balk rating on Sanchez. His balk rating is a seven. And that's a 13, so there's no balk, but Harper now cannot get the jump, so he's going to have to stay put. He will still be held, of course. And Reese Hoskins, the batter. Strategy roll, nothing going on. Probably didn't need to roll that since I just rolled it for the balk, but that's just out of habit, I guess. 5-5, five, five, struck him out. So Anibal Sanchez gets out of the first. No runs, a hit, no errors, and a man left. We go to the... Top of the first, or bottom of the first, rather. It is Philadelphia 1 and Washington coming to bat. And Aaron Nola, the ace of the Philly staff, had a rough outing his first time out. He's going to try to do better this time. On the regular season, he was 12-7 and seven with a 3 8 ERA. So a big drop-off from what he's done the previous couple of seasons uh, where he was the ace of the team. But uh, a little bit of struggling now. So... He's going to see if he can't get it rectified in this game. Adam Eaton will lead things off. 6-3 against the left. He's a ground ball pitcher. X. He's a 1-E0. So it's an automatic out. He's going to automatically get to it, and he's going to automatically field it. So there's nothing to even roll for that because no one's on base. We're not checking a double play or anything. So there's one away, and here's Brian Dozier. 1-8, and that's a strikeout. So Nola off to a great start. Trying to... Fix those numbers from the first start that were so poor. Rendon, 6-5, and another strikeout. So, boy, Nola coming out with a vengeance. Three up and three down with two strikeouts. We go to the second. It is still no score here at Nats Park. As it's getaway day, April the 3rd, April the 4th, tomorrow's game will be at City Field against the Mets to start a... Six-game road trip to New York and Philadelphia before returning home to start a homestand against the Pirates. All right, here's JT Riamuto. 1-4. That's a leadoff walk. So Riamuto is aboard. He is going to be held. He will not try to steal, uh, but he will be held because he did have nine stolen bases on the season, so he will be held. And as a one, chance for a wild pitch, but Sanchez has no wild pitch rating, so we go straight to... The bat for Herrera for 12, and that's a ground ball pitcher X. He's a 2E35, so Sanchez may boot this. We'll see. 2E35. 2 and 11, we know he's going to get to it with that. A 2 and 11 is a G1. I'm sorry, a G2, so it could be a fielder's choice as long as there's no error. He's an E35. That is an 11. For pitcher, E35 and 11 is a one base error right here. E35 and 11, one base error. So Sanchez boots it. And what could have been a fielder's choice force play is now 2-1, nobody out. And he's getting himself into trouble of his own doing. A walk and an error is his own fault. So here's Cesar Hernandez. Not a good bunter, so they're going to have to swing away. 
four, five, and that's a fly to right, two down, uh, one down rather, that was first out. So that'll bring up Michael Franco, third baseman. With Nola on deck, so they want Franco to do something here. They don't want to depend on Nola to get the hit. Franco, a three, eight, and he lines out to first. Column three is loaded, but he lines out right to Zimmerman for out number two. And now Sanchez can get out of this if he can get Nola out. And Nola hit 119 on the season with two RBI. So good chance if it's off the pitcher card, pitcher batting card, to get him out. Although on column three, he does reach base a little bit on column three. We shall see. First the strategy roll, nothing happening. 2-6, it's a strikeout. So how about that? Anibal Sanchez pitches around all that mess. No runs, no hits, one error, and two left. We go to the bottom of the second. It is still, I don't know why I have a run up there for Philly. That should be a zero. It is still no score. I don't know why I wrote the one there. It was kind of strange, but it's been corrected now to a zero. All right, so we go to the bottom of the second. And Juan Soto will lead things off for the Nats. It'll be Soto, Zimmerman, and Kurt Suzuki. Against Nola, who had a splendid top of the or bottom of the first. So here is Juan Soto. I'm gonna try to go a little slower than I did in the previous game. Hopefully that will cause me not to make errors, but we shall see. Or at least let me catch him if I do. So here is Soto, 411. That's a fly ball left. I'm sorry, 411. See, I did catch myself, but that was 511. 411 is a ballpark single check, and that's one to eighteen for Soto as a lefty. That's a 20 though, boy. Nola's living right. That's a liner caught by Cesar Hernandez. There's only a 10% chance of that being an out, and he found it. So here's Ryan Zimmerman. 5'11". Now we get the 5'11". Last time it was 4'11". Now it's 5'11". Fly ball left field X. That is the left fielder, McCutcheon. And McCutcheon checks in as a 2'6". Two, 2 and a 3. That might drop. Let's see. Two and a three is an SI2, so it is a single. That's a 10, so no error there, but it will drop in for a hit. McCutcheon couldn't quite get to it. So Zimmerman is aboard. He will not be held. He had no stolen bases, no attempts or anything on the season, so he's definitely a station to station guy. He kind of suffered from uh, that foot problem all season long, off and on, that plantar fasciitis or whatever it's called. So he didn't do a whole lot of running, unless he had to. Here's Suzuki. Nothing on the 20. Nola, a 5-10. That's a ground ball shortstop X. And the shortstop is Segura. He's a 3-E-24. And since Nola is being held on, he's going to keep all his full rating of 3-E-24. 3 and a 3, though. That could be trouble. 3 and a 3 is a single one star. So Zimmerman will make it. Two second base on the single. That is an eight. And he's an E24. E24, there is no eight, so there's no error on the play. But it is first and second with nobody out for Wilmer Defoe. Would be a good chance to bunt, but the pitcher is next. So they're going to have to pretty much let Defoe swing away with the pitcher batting eighth. 6-10, and that's another ballpark single check. So Defoe, one to 18. And it's a 19. Boy, it's the second time that's happened. They rolled a 20, now a 19. So how unlucky can you get? But now there's two down for Anibal Sanchez, who was a horrible hitter. He hit 115 on the season. So Nola, good chance to get out of this, especially if it goes off Sanchez's card. But it goes off Nola's card. 5-9. That's a ground ball shortstop X. We're back to Segura again. 3-E-24. Three, 3-3. E, how about that? It's another single. So how about that? Sanchez singles. It's only one star, so the bases will now be loaded unless there's an error. And there's a 12 there, E24. Nope, no 12, so no error. But the bases are now loaded with two down for Victor Robles. Nola trying to get out of this mess. He's By rights, the Nats should have about two runs by now. They lost two ballpark single checks because of a 19 and a 20 on the D20 roll. So Nola's kind of had the horseshoe going in this inning already. See if he can get out of it. Here's Robles. 
four, five, and it struck him out. So how about that? Nola skirts around it. No runs, three hits, no errors, and the Nationals leave them loaded. We go to the third. Still no score. Golden opportunity missed by the Nationals. See if it comes back to bite them. So now we got the top of the order coming up in the third inning for both teams. As Andrew McCutcheon will lead things off, and then Eaton will lead off in the bottom half. So McCutcheon grounded to second his first trip. Oh, that's a re-roll yeah, re the white die. Keep the red die. That's a 6-6. Six, six. And as they pop out to third, don't know how that white die jumped the boat there, but I only wanted to re-roll the white die because there was nothing wrong with the way the, the red die Red dice were rolled. They fit perfectly, so there's no reason to re-roll those. All right, here's Segura. 310. I know some people re-roll everything. It's just personal preference, I suppose. 310 is going to be a ballpark single for Segura. 1 to 15 as a right-hander, and that's a base hit. So Segura's aboard. He will be held. Will he try to steal? He stole 10 bases on the season. To get a jump, he needs a 5. That's a one chance for a pickoff. He did get he did try to get the jump, but he got a one here. So the one means it's a pickoff chance. His number here is a six. So we'll roll the d20 again. If it's a six or less, he gets back. Seven or more, Segura gets picked off. And it's six, he just does get back. Boy, Zimmerman thought he had him. Martinez is saying, look to the replay, but there's not going to be any replay. Segura will hold up. He cannot get the lead. So now here is Bryce Harper. 3-5 for Harper, and that's going to be a damage done. One's a double, two to 20 is a single. It's two stars, so the runner cannot score. Segura will stop at third. And that'll put runners on the corners with one out. In fact, two singles for Harper. He is two for two. Now he will have to be held. I don't think they're going to have him try to get a jump, though, after what happened last time with Segura. They don't want to take that chance. So Reese Hoskins is up. The Nationals are playing for a double play to get out of the inning. See if Sanchez can get that ground ball. 111. No, it's a ballpark home run chance for Reese Hoskins, and that's 1 to 14. So 1 to 14, it's a three run homer for Reese Hoskins. It's an 18, so he flies to left, and that's two down. So Hoskins just got up under it. And that saved Sanchez's bacon. That would have been 3 nothing right there. Here's Riamuto. He's still out of the woodwork. It's two outs and Riamuto, the batter, with runner. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a sacrifice fly. I didn't see. I almost missed it again. I was so excited that it wasn't a home run <laughs> that I forgot it's a B. When they don't get it, it's an automatic sacrifice fly. So Segura will score on the sacrifice fly, and the Phillies lead it one to nothing. So hopefully by playing it slower, I won't miss these. Situations so I can get them corrected around Johnny on the spot. So it's kind of messy there, but it is a sacrifice fly. And the Phillies lead it one to nothing. Harper's at first. Now he might try to get a jump since the, there are two outs and a runner at first, but I think they're going to go ahead and let Riamuto swing away. Nothing on the 20. There's Riamuto. 2 9 for Riamuto. Struck him out. Innings over, but the Phillies break through with a run. One run on two hits. No errors and a man left. At the end of two and a half, it's Philadelphia one and Washington nothing. On the sacrifice fly by Reese Hoskins, who just missed a three-run homer, but he did get the sack fly to at least put the Phillies on the board. And now, Nationals second time through the order facing Nola. It'll be Eaton, who had a routine grounder back to Nola his first time up. 3-8, and 1-4 to four is a home run. 5-20 to 20 will be a deep fly to left. That's a deep fly to left. Pulled in by McCutcheon. One away. Brings up Dozier. 1-4, and that's a walk. So Brian Dozier with a one-out walk. He will, he will be held, but he won't try to run. I'm going to bring up Rendon. Nothing there. Rendon, 4-6, struck him out. So two down, and now it's up to Juan Soto to get it done. Or they're going to leave Dozier at first base. 
two seven. That's a walk. So the inning continues to Zimmerman. Two on, two out for Zimmerman. Dozier still being held on second to try to keep him close so he can't score on a single. Or at least reduce the chances. Zimmerman, 6-6 six, six strikeout. doesn't matter. Nola gets the big K when he needs it. So no runs, no hits, no errors. There were two left because of two walks. And at the end of three, it remains Philadelphia 1 and Washington nothing. So we go to the top of the fourth, and it'll be a double Herrera to lead things off against Anibal Sanchez. And Sanchez has a fatigue of five, so next inning will be his point of weakness inning, potentially. Here is a double Herrera. Reached on an error by Sanchez his first time up. 2-7. He will ground it to second. Dozier makes the play. No error this time. And there's one away. And that will send us to Cesar Hernandez. Four, his switch hitter, 4-10. That is a split chance. 1-13 to is a single. 14-20, to Dozier will snag it. It's a five. It's going to get through for a base hit for Hernandez. He will be held, but he will not try to run. But they will have to hold him on. Here's Michael Franco. And field looking to turn two, four, five. It's a fly to center. That's out number two. And now we're down to Aaron Nola. So Sanchez looking to get out of this without any issues. That's a two. Chance of a balk or a pass ball, depending on what we're looking for. We are looking for a pass ball chance. And Suzuki has a pass ball rating of three. And that's an 18, so no pass ball. So we drive on. 3-10. And that's a walk. So how about that? He ends up walking the pitcher, Nola. I said Nola had a good column three, or a decent column three, and he found it. That is a walk on that 3-10 spot. So now, runners are at first and second with two outs. For the leadoff man, McCutcheon. Although McCutcheon is 0-2. 4-9, and that's a 1-5 single. It's only one star if he gets it. 6-20, to 20, Rendon will corral it. It's a base hit, but it's only going to be one star. The bases are loaded. So the Phillies load the bases just like the Nationals did, but Sanchez or Sanchez is trying to get out of this just like the Nationals did. We just got to get Gene Segura, and Segura did single his last time. Nothing on the 20. 6-5, Five, and it's a ground ball shortstop X. That's Defoe. He's a 4-E-5, so not very good range, but, but a good error. But it's a 4-E-5. Four, 4 and a 14 is a good play. It's a G-2. It's a G uh, two. That's good enough. G-2, it's a force play. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point. 12 and an E-5 at short is not a problem. So Defoe makes the play, and now it's the Phillies who leave them loaded. So no runs, two hits, no errors, and three left. Phillies have already left seven on in four innings. So I don't know if that's going to come back to bite them or not. But we go to the bottom of the fourth. Still one nothing, as both pitchers are tiptoeing through the tulips of trouble and avoiding what could be horrendous outcomes. And here's Suzuki. He singled his first trip. 6-9, and that's a chance for another single, 1-10. to 11-20, he will ground out to the third baseman, Mr. Franco. That's 16, and Franco will throw over to Hoskins, one away. I bring up Wilmer Defoe. 1-4, and he draws a walk, so Defoe draws the one-out walk. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Sanchez. Now, he is a good bunter, so they're going to have him bunt. He's an A bunter, becomes a B bunter. And that's an 8, so that should be okay. The white die is a 3, which means that the catcher will field it. But a B and an 8 is a good sacrifice. So Riamuto will field it, throw it to Hernandez covering second as Hoskins charged in. So it's 2-4 to four on the put out. Sanchez does what they needed him to do, which was to... Get the runner over in the scoring position for Victor Robles. And now Robles has a chance to tie this ball game. Nothing on the 20. 
three four for Robles, and he fouls out to Riamuto to end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and a man left. We played four at Nationals Park. It's still one nothing Phillies. And top of the fifth we go, and the top of the fifth means that Anibal Sanchez or Sanchez, I keep calling him Sanchez. I think it's actually pronounced Sanchez. At least that's the way you hear the announcers call it, I think. But anyway, he will start his point of weakness inning because his fatigue factor is a five. He's going to start off facing Harper. Bryce Harper is two for two, two singles. Two, three, and this time he grounds, I'm sorry, two, three, yeah. This time he grounds to Defoe. Good short stop, one away. Defoe makes the play. Here's Reese Hoskins. Two, seven, and that's a walk. So that's one knock against Sanchez. Hoskins will not be held. And JT Riamuto, the batter. Nothing. 1-7 for Riamuto. Ground ball, shortstop, A. That's a double play. It's a plus sign, but the infield's not in, so it's a regular 6-4-3. Double play to end the inning. Just what Sanchez needed. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Still one nothing fills on getaway day here at Nats Park. Again, the next game in this series will be coming to you from City Field against the Mets. Not sure who the Mets starter is going to be, but the national starter is scheduled to be Steven Strasburg. Like I said, don't know. I didn't check to see who the Mets were using yet. All right, here is Adam Eaton. Adam Eaton will lead things off against Nola. His fatigue is a six, so he's still good to go. 2-4. That's a pop out to short. Gene Segura makes the play. One down for Brian Dozier. He's walked and singled. Has not put bat on ball just yet. 4-7, and he still won't. That's a strikeout. So Dozier still hasn't made contact. Two up, two down for Rendon. 5-8, and that's a fly to center. Called in by Herrera, and it's another 1-2-3 inning for Aaron Nola. So we go to the sixth, still 1-0 in favor of the Phillies. And we'll check on Sanchez and see what he's got as far as fatigue goes. He gave up a walk, and that was it, so he's still okay. They're going to try to at least get him through this inning if they possibly can. They'd like for him to go six and then turn it over to the bullpen. Here's a double Herrera. 3-7. That's a strikeout. So so far, so good for Sanchez. He is matching, almost matching Nola pitch for pitch, except for that one sacrifice fly. That was the only thing that was the difference. Cesar Hernandez, switch it around left, 6-9. Pops him out to Brian Dozier at second, two down. Brings up Michael Franco. 5-11, and that is a... Ballpark home run chance. He does have normal power. And so it's a 1 to 14 for Michael Franco to go deep. 17 is a deep fly to left, so he got a break. Second time that's happened where the ballpark home run has failed and saved Sanchez's bacon or Sanchez's bacon. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. And I believe it's going to probably be all for Sanchez, but we shall see. He is set to bat fifth this inning, so they may or may not get to his uh, start in the order. And this will be the fatigue inning coming up now for Aaron Nola, as he has a six by his number, or by his name. He'll be facing Soto, Zimmerman, and Suzuki for the Nationals. Here in the bottom of the six, one nothing fills. Pitching duel here at Nationals Park. On getaway day, 3-10. Struck him out. Boy, Nola is just... Making up for that first game in spades. Here's Ryan Zimmerman. 4-4. Four, four. Fly ball center field X. That's Herrera. The double Herrera is a 4-E3, so not very good range. But a 20 is going to take care of that. An E3 and a 9 should not be an issue at all. Double check it. E3. Nope. No, no problem whatsoever. And the 20 means Herrera gets to it very easily for two down. And that'll send up Kurt Suzuki. 3-4 for Suzuki. Gets plunked. Hit by the pitch. So Suzuki is aboard. He will not be held. And Wilmer Defoe, the batter, 
Sanchez Sanchez is on deck, so they could pinch hit if Defoe reaches. In fact, they probably will if Defoe reaches. Five, five, switch hitter batting left. It's a strikeout. He's not tired yet because he's only hit a batter and that's it. So nothing doing. Nothing doing for the Nationals. We go to the seventh. It's still one nothing in favor of the Nationals. And Sanchez, they might go ahead and let him pitch because he's set to lead off next inning. But they might go ahead and get him started. Nola is set to lead off, and you're not going to take Nola out when he's pitching a shutout. So he's going to lead off. And then it'll be McCutcheon and Segura. So we're going to have Sanchez there. Now Wander Suero is loosening just in case Sanchez runs into issues. And they also have Matt Grace loosening in case it gets down to Bryce Harper. They would bring in Matt Grace to face Harper. But we shall see. Sanchez will start off facing Aaron Nola. 5-5. Five, five, and that is a strikeout with a dot. But he's not tired yet. He's only given up a walk in those two innings of fatigue. So he is still good. That is a strikeout. One down from McCutcheon. 6-7. Ground ball second base X. That's Dozier. He's a 3-E-8. 3 to 13 is good all day long. E8 and the 6 is no issue whatsoever. So McCutcheon is retired. And Sanchez, one out away from seven solid innings in his first start of the season. He's got to deal with Segura. 3 8 for Segura. And he grounds it back to Sanchez. And that's going to do it. So close the book on Sanchez. It's a, a great book. Seven innings pitched, only one run. And let's check his hits. He only gave up five hits. Check his walks and strikeouts. He walked two, three. He walked three. And strikeouts, well, I've got him for one, two, three. I've got him for three strikeouts as well. Is that right? Three or four? One, two. I've got him for four, five strikeouts, actually. My bad. Okay, so that's this is the... And it's unofficial until I put it in the computer. But right now what I've got is Sanchez, 17 pitch, 5 hits, 1 run. It was earned. 3 walks and 5 strikeouts. And he will now be lifted because he is set to lead off the bottom of the 7th. So we will get Andrew Stevenson as a pinch hitter for the Nationals. And Sanchez, Dave Martinez, will shake the hand of Sanchez. Give him a big attaboy for going 7 innings. And now Andrew Stevenson, who has one of these computerized cards, he will be the pinch hitter against Aaron Nola. And Nola only has a hit by pitch against his fatigue, so he's still good to go. Hopefully everything is still, I'm kind of running out of room because of this combing is, I think is cutting me off on the score sheet over this way, but I think I still got a little bit more room left. Get down just a hair. All right, and I might be able to move this over just a touch allow for more room okay so Andrew Stevenson pinch hitting so we'll write in Stevenson he pinch hits here in the eighth inning I'm sorry the seventh inning in the bottom of the seventh scratch Stevenson off from the available list and he'll be facing Aaron Nola one four for Stevenson and that is a straight out triple look at this on a computerized card, that's a TR. That's a straight-out triple and a 1-4. So how about that? Andrew Stevenson, a pinch-hit triple. And now the Nationals are in business. The Phillies want to bring the infield in. They don't give up the tie and run that cheaply to Robles. So the infield is in. Nothing on the 20. Here's Robles. 2-5 for Robles. Struck him out. Big strikeout there for Aaron Nola. And now here's Aaron, Adam Eaton. Nothing on the 20. Eaton. 5-8. Struck him out. Boy, Nola's coming back big time. Trying to avoid that. Giving up a run to that leadoff triple. Now the infield can go back to normal since there's two outs. And it's up to Brian Dozier to get it done. Nothing on the 20. Here's Dozier. 5-5. Five, five. Struck him out, but he's not tired. So that's going to, he's going to come back to strike out the side after the leadoff triple. Boy, talk about clutch pitching. There you have it from Aaron Nola. He goes seven for sure. He might go eight. We'll see. 
I think he's just going to go seven. I think he's going to be done for the day because they've got a lot of guys in the bullpen that can pitch for him. And he's already two innings or yeah, two innings past his fatigue level, so I don't want to push it. And coming in for the Nationals, as Bryce Harper will lead things off, the lefty. But then you've got all a bunch of right, mostly right-handers after that. But I think they're still going to go to the left-hander. Well, you know what? They're actually going to go to Wander Suero because they got so many right-handers coming up. They'll let him pitch to Harper. Harper actually hits better against lefties, as it turns out. So we're going to have Wander Suero. He will come on and pitch to Bryce Harper to start the top of the eighth. Still one nothing fills. That run in the third is held up. 1-9, and that's a strikeout. That would have been the same lefty or righty for Bryce Harper, so a strikeout. And now Suero back in there to face some right-handers. Here is Reese Hoskins. 3-7, struck him out. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Suero. Granted, they're off the batter cards, but he still gets credit for them. Two down for Riamuto. 1-6 for Riamuto. That's a single. So base hit for Riamuto. He will have to be held because he does run decently. He stole nine bases, only got caught once. He won't try to get the jump, but he will be held. And here's a double Herrera. Nothing on the 20. 2 7, and that's a ground ball to second. And with the lefty up there, the shortstop's the one holding the runner, not the second baseman. So it's an easy play for Dozier. And that's going to do it for the Phillies. No runs, a hit, no errors, and a man left. So we go to the bottom of the eighth. It'll be Rendon, Soto, and Zimmerman for the new Phillies pitcher. And we got to figure out who that's going to be. Let's look at their bullpen and see who they're going to go to. Naris is their quote unquote closer. He had 28 saves, so I don't think you're not going to use him to go two innings, I don't believe. Uh, they're going to go to. Sir Anthony Dominguez, he was their closer, I believe, last year. He has a limited amount of innings pitched. He was 3-0 with a 4-0-1 ERA and no saves. So Sir Anthony Dominguez is on. To see if he can't keep things right where they are. It's still 1-0 Phillies. And he's facing Rendon. 1-10 for Rendon. He grounds it to Segura. One away, and that brings up Juan Soto. One six, and he struck him out. So Sir Anthony doing very well. Here's Zimmerman. Four six, and that's another strikeout. So he gets two strikeouts in his one inning of work. It's a perfect inning for Dominguez. He goes one inning, and he gives up nothing. Striking out two, and I need to do the numbers on Nola as well. I was thrown off because he already had numbers here, but that was from his first start. So in his second start, he goes seven innings, gives up four hits and no runs. And let's see, he struck out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven strikeouts I had him for. Uh, he did hit a batter and he walked three. Three with a hit batter. All right, so that's the numbers on Nola. Seven innings pitch, four hits, no runs, three walks, and 11 strikeouts. And he does stand to be the winner if the bullpen can hold it. So we go to the ninth. We go to the ninth. It is still one nothing in favor of the Phillies. And now Suero will be leaving because I believe he's just going to go the one inning. And they're going to go ahead and bring in Sean Doolittle. It's not a save situation, but you don't use your closer... I mean, you can't get a slave situation at this point anymore uh, for Suero. He goes one inning, gives up one hit, no runs, no walks, and two strikeouts. So I believe it's, let me just double check it. It's Hernandez, Franco, and a pinch hitter for the Phillies. So they may want to go to a right-hander instead of a lefty. So let's take a double check here. Do a discount double check. And we're going to look at... Boy, who do they want to go to here? You know what? Lefty, righty, there's no way in the world to bring in Trevor Rosenthal in. That's not going to happen. So they're going to go ahead and bring in Doolittle. 
Sean Doolittle making his third appearance. He's got two saves. So they want to keep this game within reach. They, <laughs> they figure Doolittle is their best chance. All right, so Cesar Hernandez will turn around and bat right-handed against Doolittle. 2-9 against the lefty. Ground ball to second. One away as Dozier puts it away. Brings up Michael Franco. 5-9, and that's a 5-9 a is, a, is a potential home run right here. 1-18 to 18 is going to do it, and that could be bad news for the Nationals. 1-18 to 18 is a home run, and it is. They've avoided the home runs on those D20s until now, and Doolittle coughs it up. Sometimes those closers in a non-save situation let up a little bit, and now we need a pinch hitter, and it will be Aaron Altair for the Phillies. So Altair will pick up a bat and hit. Altair, pinch hitting in the ninth against Doolittle. 6-11 as a fly to right. That's two down. And that will now mean Hector Neris will come in to pitch the ninth for the Phillies to try to close it out. Andrew McCutcheon, two outs in the bases clear. 3-11 against a lefty. a ground ball to Zimmerman. And that's going to end the inning. But Philly's got a big run there on the home run. One run, one hit, no errors, and nobody left. Doolittle, one inning pitched, and he gave up the big home run to make it 2 to nothing. So 2 nothing Phillies would go to the ninth. And Hector Neris will be on for the Phils. And he'll be facing Suzuki, Defoe, and a pinch hitter, which would be Matt Adams most likely. So Neris is on, and on the season, Neris, 3 and 6, 293 ERA with 28 saves. So pretty good record for Hector Neris. And if the Phillies hold on and win this game, they will jump back into a first place tie with the Mets and the Nationals at 3 and 2. So could really bog things up here if this score of 2 nothing holds up. So here's Suzuki. We got Suzuki, Defoe, and then we have Matt Adams, Big City to bat for Doolittle. They also have Gomes, Sanchez, and Jake Knoll, but Gomes is the only one there that's really worth mentioning. Right now, Suzuki will lead things off. 5-7, and he's going to strike out. So yet another national strikeout for the Nationals. That's the 14th batter that has struck out this game, so they're whiffing like crazy. Here's Wilmer Defoe. 4-4, switch hitter 4-4 is a catcher X. That is Riamuto, and he is a 1-E-1. So obviously, he's going to get to it. Just a matter of whether there's an error or not, which is not likely on E-1. That's a 12. And a catcher on the E-1, you have to have a 17 to have an error. So 12 is not going to cut it. A 1 and a 1 is a W slash S. W slash S says... With no runner on, the batter hits a squib single. Is that right? Can that happen? I guess it can. I thought it was automatic out, but look at that. 1-1 one, one is a W slash S, which is a single. Oops, where'd it go? W slash S. Where are you? Just had you. Here you go. W slash S. With, with no runners on base. Or with runners on, it's a wild pitch, but no runners on, the batter hits a squib single. So how about that? I was premature thinking that was going to be an out. But Defoe beat it out for an infield single. And now the tying run comes to the plate in Big City. Matt Adams, and he does have some power. He finds that column one. Neris now trying to bear down. Thought he had something there. Defoe not being held on. This run doesn't mean anything. Adams, 1-7. It's a 1-11 to double. Boy, that 1-6 to would have been a home run, most likely. 1-11 to for a double, though. That's an 18, so it won't be a double. It will be a fly to center. Herrera hauls it in deep on, by the track, and Defoe will retreat. And now it's up to Victor Robles. Last chance for the Nationals to get it done. Robles is the tying run. 2-6, and he's got hit by the pitch. That's the second batter that the Phillies have hit. 
And Dave Martinez is not too happy about that, but it does keep the game going for Adam Eaton. And now you got some excellent speed on the base pass. So anything in the gap, and we got a tie game because Robles runs at a 17. He's not being held, makes him an 18. There's two outs that would make him a 20. So even if the arm of the outfielder is minus one or two, you still got a really good chance of scoring this. But it's up to Adam Eaton to get it done. Nothing on the D20. Eaton. 6-7. Fly to left, and there's your ball game. So Nationals come away empty-handed, and they get shut out on getaway day. And they will end their three-game losing streak. Our three-game winning streak has come to an end, I should say. As Naris gets the win. Final line on Naris. So let's see, no runs, a hit. No errors and two left. So Naris gave up a single, got a strikeout, and he did hit a batter for the second hit batter of the game. But the Nationals struck out 14 times. So final score. Two to nothing Phillies. And for the Nationals, they mustered only five hits. And I believe they had one error, which was on Sanchez. And they left on three, four, nine. All right, the Phillies left on seven, eight. They left on eight while getting seven hits. All right, so two, seven, zero, eight for the Phillies. And zero, five, one, zero, five, one, nine for the Nationals. So the winning pitcher was Aaron Nola. He improves to 1-1. One and one. Losing pitcher was Anibal Sanchez, even though he pitched really, really well. He drops to 0-1, and, and the save goes to Neris. I don't know how many saves he has. I did not check to see what his previous record was. Um, so I'll fill that in later. But that's where we stand right there. Player of the game, obviously, Aaron Nola with his outstanding pitching. Um, like I said, it's, it, it breaks up the Nationals' three-game winning streak. They drop to 3-2 and two along with the Mets, and Philly goes up to 3-2. and two. So we got a big tie right there in the early part of the NL East. And now the Nationals will jump on a charter plane and fly to New York for the open of a six-game road trip. First three at Citi Field in New York. The final three will be at... Citizens Bank Ballpark in Philadelphia. And then once they finish with the Phillies and the Mets, they will go back home and take on the Pittsburgh Pirates. So let's look ahead for the next game. And like I said, uh, Sanchez was called up, Turner was put on the injury list. And after this game, we got another move coming up because starting in the next game, Jake Knoll is sent down and Howie Kendrick is brought back from the injury list. So they'll have Howie Kendrick back for the, for the first game of the road trip in New York. So that's going to do it from here. Hope you enjoyed that presentation of Washington Nationals 2019 season replay on Stratomatic. And until next time, enjoy playing whatever game you choose to play, however you happen to choose to play it. And I will see you all down the road.